Ready? Yep. <laughs> Your hair is sticking straight up. Hello there. I'm Nikki. This is Kelby. This is his first um, time appearing on a video with me, even though his voice has been heard several times. So today we are going to make these emoji eye masks. Yay! He's wearing mine right now, so it's a little bit big for him. But he's going to make a kid-sized one. He wants to make the eye rolly emojis. So. Um, before you start, you're going to need to go to our blog and print off the pattern that I put on there. I'm going to put a link to that in the description below, but our blog is www.pincutsostudio.com, so you'll need to print that off. And then you're also going to need some yellow fabric. This can be flannel, felt, fleece. Flannel on the back, though, I mean, felt, felt on the back would not be very comfortable, so use something soft. We just have plain, solid cotton. Then you're gonna need something for the inside. We have batting, or you can use a piece of fleece or whatever you have. And then you're gonna need something to make the appliques, something that doesn't fray. So we have white fleece for the big circles, and we have black felt for the eyeball parts. And then something for the back, for the lining, this part. Kelby wants to use this Star Wars fabric. And also for this elastic cover. Oh, and you'll need elastic. So sewing machine, thread, needles, I think that's all. Okay, but before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button, share with your friends, and yeah, let's get started. Okay, so we're ready. We have ironed our lining fabric and our top fabric, and we're going to cut out one of each. So I'm gonna pin my child size eye mask to it. cut these out at the same time. Ooh, these scissors need sharpened. Okay, so we did that. Now we have our front and our back. We also need to cut out a piece for the inside so it's nice and padded and also so that we can't see through it. So it cuts out more light. So we're going to cut around this too, probably. If you don't have bad ink, you can use a piece of flannel, use a piece of an old shirt, use whatever for the inside. Okay. Now, we are going to place this on top of this. Set your lining piece aside for now. We're gonna just make the front. All right, now it's time to make our eyeballs. You are going to find something to trace. Kelly, okay, let me see your icy cup. We're gonna trace this icy cup. We think these are a nice size eyeballs. You can use a pencil. Don't use anything that is going to show too much. That's good. I'm going to cut both at one time. By just pulling it over, I can barely see it, but I can see it just enough to cut it out. We're going to sew these suckers on. Yay. Well, let's cut out small black holes first. Oh. That's cute. Turn my pencil lines over. Okay. To cut out really small circles, I really find it's easiest just to wing it. But if you want to trace it with chalk or whatever, Go right ahead, but this is how I always do it. How big are the rolling eyes, Kelby? Mm -hmm. Or the black parts? The black part? So the black part. Um, Let's see. <laughs> That's pretty funny. What do you think? They have like a flat bit. They do? Yeah. I mean, where's your phone? Right here. here it is. Oh, so these go all the way to the top. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I'm so disgusted. <laughs> all right, we had to look up the emoji. Now we got it. So Not the though. eyeballs go all the way to the top. Okay, so Kelby, with our batting underneath, I'm just gonna put a pin first in the white part and each white one, and he's gonna zigzag or straight stitch, whatever you wanna do, mm -hmm. around the eyeballs with white thread. If you need help, Kelby, I can help. Do you want a zigzag? Yeah. Zigzag. Good job, nice and smooth. 
Okay, so he did that part. He did a good job. He zigzagged all the way around the edges. And the batting's on the back. So now, he's gonna place the black ones. And the easiest way to sew small circles on is to just sew a plus sign down the center. So we're gonna change out our thread to black. And he's gonna do this part next. I'm gonna put some pins. Sometimes a glue stick works good to hold it in place too. Okay, the next step is, see we have this done, is to get your elastic. So you might need a buddy to help you with this. So you're gonna cut a strip. Here's our piece of elastic that we already measured to his head. You'll need a buddy to do that probably. Um, we cut a strip one and a half inches wide and about twice as long as his elastic. So we used a rotary cutter and mat, but if you don't have one, you can just use a ruler, measure one and a half inches wide, then make it about twice as long as your elastic. So we're gonna fold this this way, hot dog style. Kelby's gonna sew down the edge of it like this. The trickiest part is getting us started. After that, it's really simple. Okay, there we go, yeah. Just shove the head inside, work it over like this. Once you get it going, it should be pretty simple. So you just bunch it up onto the safety pin and pull it through the end. If it's stuck, you just gotta lift it out. Okay, now we're gonna put the same safety pin onto our piece of elastic. We already measured it to his head using the mask we made. And you're gonna attach it and you're gonna push the safety pin through. Look, it says Darth right here. <laughs> okay, see how I'm to the end? I don't want to pull that all the way through, so I'm going to stick a pin in it so I don't accidentally lose it. And then you're just going to start bunching it up on there. It will gather right up. Okay, I'm almost out. There I am at the other end. Make sure I'm not twisted up. Let's see, am I flat? Can I? <laughs> I don't think you can. Either. Okay, before I take that safety pin out, I'm going to put another pin here so I don't lose the end. <laughs> okay, now, now Kelby's going to sew each end onto his mask. I'm going to repin. Okay, just a sec. So he's gonna sew across these ends, back and forth. Alrighty. Okay, so he's, um, he attached his strap. We're gonna tuck it in to the center the best we can and lay our lining piece pretty side down, pretty side to pretty side, onto our top piece. Line up the edges. We're gonna leave a hole in the top for turning it right side out. So when I'm gonna leave a hole, what do I like to do, Kelby? Put two pins. Yeah. Two pins where I start and two pins where I stop so I don't forget and accidentally sew the hole close. Ooh, whoopsie. Sure. Okay, we're gonna sew, gosh, I keep getting tangled up. We're gonna sew a quarter inch seam all the way around it. Kelby's stabbing my pin cushion. It's supposed to be stabbed. Okay, we're gonna start here, back stitch, go brrr, back stitch. Okay, here's how it went. We have our hole, sewed it on, we didn't miss any parts, and we kept our strap out of the way Wait, why on the do you inside. Need the hole? Why do you think we need a hole? Oh. Okay, so one step before we turn it, we're gonna snip the inside corner. Anytime you have inside curves or corners, you need to snip them so they turn nicely. Okay? And then we're gonna turn it right side out. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> it's funny. 
Okay. Let's get our iron. I want iron. Okay. Okay. Sorry for my messy ironing board. There's some burn marks. Okay. So we're gonna press this really flat. We're gonna turn in the edges of the opening that we left so that when we top stitch it, nobody will know there was a hole there. Like so. Okay, so you can iron the rest flat. Let me change it to white. Plus the strap. The strap doesn't really matter. You just put white for the back. Ironing the strap a little bit. Whatever. Here. Okay, all done? It's so cute. It is cute. We only have one step left. Can I iron at the bottom? Sure. Yeah. Burn yourself. Mm -hmm. That's good. I, I like how there's a stormtrooper on the bottom. Okay, last step. We'll snip that off. We're gonna top stitch around the top of it about an eighth inch from the edge to make it look nice and neat. We switched back to white thread. We finished it. It's so funny. Um, so don't forget to get the pattern. Just click the link in the description below and make sure you subscribe to our channel. What do you want to say, Kelby? Bye. Bye. <laughs>